Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we pretty much understood about props. In this lecture, let us take a look into destructuring props. Well, destructuring was introduced in ES6. It's a JavaScript feature that allows us to extract multiple pieces of data from an array or object and assign them to their own variables. In React, destructuring props improves code readability. Well, there are two ways to destructure props in a functional component. The first way is destructuring it in a function parameter itself. The second way is destructuring props in the function body. So let us go ahead and let us see how to destructure props with an example. So let us go to VS Code ID over here. In previous lecture, we have created student functional component to demonstrate the props. In this lecture, let us use the same student functional component to demonstrate destructuring props. So here, go to the JSX code and here let us uncomment this and here let us remove this student just keep props dot first name and props dot last name and then props dot email perfect next go to app dot js file over here and here just comment out this and just uncomment this okay now save the file and if you look at the browser the image student details is printed okay next go to student component over here and here let us remove this array data paragraph element and next save this file and if you look at the browser the image student details is displayed over here now let us go and let us see how to destructure these props well there are two ways first way is we can destructure these props in function parameter itself for example here this props contains first name last name email properties right so here we can destructure like this so within curly braces just pass first name comma last name comma email so this is the syntax to destructure the props next while accessing these properties we don't have to use props for example here let us remove this props just keep first name and here remove the props just keep last name and here also remove props and just keep email and then save this file and if you take a look at the browser you can see student details is successfully printed okay so this is how we can destructure the props in a function parameter itself well here destructuring allows us to extract some of the data from an array or object and assign them to their own variable for example here we have extracted first name last name email from the props and we have assigned them to its own variable like first name last name email and we are accessing these variables over here so we can also extract only first name last name from the props by using destructuring like this if you save this file and here we got email is not defined so we can simply remove this and you can see umesh Padta is printed over here well notice here even though the props object has first name last name email but we are only extracting first name last name from the props object using destructure feature like this all right perfect next let us say how to destructure props in a function body so here we have destructured props in a function parameter itself so let us see how to destructure props in a function body so let us cut this and go to function body and let us have a const and then paste this and then props and then this props we should pass as a parameter to student perfect next if you save this file and if you take a look at the browser you can see still the student details is printed you know properly next let us say we want to only extract the first name last name from the props object then what we can do is we can simply remove this email and here also we need to simply remove this paragraph element all right so even though this props has first name last name email but we are only extracting first name last name from the props object using destructuring feature like this so basically here we are extracting first name last name from the props object and we are assigning them to the you know separate variables that is first name last name and we are accessing these variables in a jsx code like this all right so this is how we can destructure the props in a functional components all right, great. I will see you in the next lecture.